In this lesson, we'll show you um, one of the features here called Detail Level, part of our display series. What I've done is I've started up a basic uh, empty project and I've added in some walls and some couple of columns and some um, cable tray, ductwork, couple of lights, a pipe, um, a beam, steel, concrete. So steel and concrete beams and columns. Um, some ductwork, some cable trays, um, some various uh, pipes. Okay, and you can hover over that piece of conduit there. Okay, ductwork and lights. And then I've got a plan view of that same thing over here. So this is the kind of tiled view of my um, little prop. So it's important to note that in order for this to kind of work before we get into the setting here is that the view should be set to be um, um, in here best to be set to be coordination because if it's set to be architectural it might not show struct or structural I should say it won't show architectural walls and stuff like that so probably while you're doing this exercise with all these different disciplines set your discipline view display to be um, construction and then everything will be shown okay the other thing is in order to get your elbows and fittings to work in here you have to make sure that you uh, brought in the right fitting types and duct and um, pipe types so uh, most template files don't have all of the structural and electrical and mechanical in one so um, just remember that if you're going to try to build something like this. But for the most part, it's the lesson here that we're going to learn that is important. So having said all of that, if we go into any view and you go down here on the bottom of our display, it says detail level. We have three choices and only three choices. Factory set to be coarse, medium and fine. Now, before we start to click these, these families themselves have been predetermined on how to appear when they're in coarse, medium, or fine. Some of them are system settings, you can't change it, but other custom-made families that you make, you can control yourself how the line work changes between coarse, medium, and fine detail. So each view has its own settings. So right now it's set to be fine. We change this view to be medium. Oh, good old Revit's asking me to save. I'll hit cancel on that. Let's try this again. Fine detail, okay? So fine detail, let's zoom in here and see what happens if we change this to be medium detail. No change to the walls per se, but we notice some changes taking place down here. Let's go to coarse detail. Oh, single line goes to single line, okay? Let's go back here. Medium detail. Oh, the ductwork and the, and the um, cable tray kind of change, but this piping stuff in the conduit is still single line. Now we change this to say fine detail and then the um, cable tray and the pipes and the these pipes and the conduit are full double line work. So lesson learned here is, and let's check our steel beams here as well, coarse detail, steel beam disappears completely. I'm not sure why it did that. Medium detail is there. Um, coarse detail, it should go to a single line. Not sure why that is. Notice concrete beams will change between coarse, medium, and fine, but steel beams will not. Let's go over here, do it from here. Uh, medium detail and coarse detail. That's what I was expecting to see. So um, in coarse detail, pipes and cable tray and ductwork and steel beams and steel columns all go to single line, okay? If you go to medium detail, okay, cable tray changes, but not super high detail. The column changes, the beam changes, the ductwork changes, but the conduit and the pipes at medium detail still single line. Switch it again, knock it up a notch, fine detail, now everything is double lined in our cable tray. We're going to see more detail level on there, clicking out here. So change this back to be coarse detail. Now, interesting how, look how this column looks in coarse detail in a plan view. And look how the column appears in coarse detail in a 
3D view. It goes to a single dot here, whereas in here, it kind of shows the profile. So it depends on the family that you're looking at, as well as uh, whether it's steel or concrete and the detail level and whether you're in a 3D view or a 2D view. So um, not to confuse you, they are consistent rules. You'll get used to them. OK, the main thing is practice a little bit. Uh, fine detail is going to show you double line of everything. Medium detail, it depends. Medium detail will get rid of double lines for conduit and pipes, but show double lines for ducts and cable tray. And then and then the good fine detail shows all of this stuff and the coarse detail, even duct work and cable tray goes to a single line as well as steel. OK, so every view has its own setting. Of course, medium and fine. And again, it depends on a little bit on what type of view you're in. That's not to negate the fact that, you know, you can say shaded view or whatever. That's not going to change this. If you go to coarse detail, it's still going to be coarse, medium or fine. Whether this says hidden line or shaded view. OK, also your cross hatching. You'll notice when you go to fine detail, the cross hatching quite often will become more dense as opposed to coarse detail. You might notice that the cross hatching um, gets more spacious. So a uh, little bit of information on our coarse, medium and fine detail per category and in different views.